what's going on what's going on the weather yesterday 70 degrees and sunny today 55 and crappy and rainy so i'm out in my shop doing some work to the golf cart all right so if you guys follow the channel at all you know that i had the golf cart wrapped and i put some wheels and tires on it and now i can't drive it because the wheels and tires are taller and they rub everywhere so what i'm out here doing today is trying to build a lift kit for it out of crap i have laying around because i'm not going to spend any more money on this thing that was never the purpose so i've already started on it i wasn't going to video it because i didn't know if i'd be able to do it but here's what we're going to do so in the front, the spring mounts to the bottom of the frame right here. So all I'm gonna do is build a spacer to go in there and then I'll have to adjust tie rod ends here on each side to get the alignment back right. But I think lifting the front of this thing is gonna be pretty easy. So in the front, what was happening is the tires would rub the frame here and they would start to touch the body here. So I'm just gonna kind of throw this together and see if it works. If it doesn't, they make a kit that moves the front axle forward to help clear and then I don't have to lift it as high but I'm gonna lift it about an inch and a half in the front because that's the thickness of tube I have in the rear really all I think I would have to do is put shackles on it so you know we got shackles here like you would on a truck so if you lower this it raises the ride height the issue is this bolt comes in from the inside which is hitting the body so I might just reach up in there with a sawzall and cut it off but I'm gonna try to lift this thing myself. And if, you know, if I need to, I'll make different shock brackets so that the shocks will still work. But when I disconnect the rear of the leaf spring, I'll let it down and see how low the shocks let it hang. In the front, it lets me drop it an inch and a half. So I've got my tube over here. I'm gonna drill a hole in it for the center pin of the spring and I'm gonna throw it up in there. All right, so this is gonna be my lift block. And I put a bolt on this side uh, so that it can center on the golf cart frame. And then on this side, we've got a recess cut for the original spring pin, which you can see right there. So that'll keep the spring from walking side to side. So I'm gonna throw this thing in here and uh, see if it fits. All right, so got the front lifted but I have to mess with the alignment a little bit. If you look in the front, you can see obviously the toe is way off. So I'm gonna do that while it's on the ground, get it back up in the air, and then we'll start working on the back of this thing. All right, so we got the golf cart back up in the air, and these are the shackles that I am going to replace to lift the back of this thing. And yeah, I'm just gonna get at it. So what I'll do first is I'll take the bolt out of each side here and let the rear end drop to see how much further the shocks will extend. I'm guessing not much further than they are right now. So what I might have to do is come up here and make a little drop down bracket for the shocks. But yeah, hopefully this won't be that big of a deal. I've got some metal to make the new ones. Um, and I'm basically gonna guess how much longer this needs to be because if I was doing the lift right here where the axle's attached, that'll give you an actual, you know, if you put a two inch block here, you get two inches. The problem is, the leaf spring is under the axle, so if I put a block, it'll actually lower the golf cart. Um, but out here, because it's a pivot and the swings, two inches here might only give me an inch and a half here. So I'm kind of going to guess. I don't feel like getting out of tape measure and a calculator, so let's get this thing apart real quick. All right, so here is what the stock shackle looks like. And I've got this metal here. These are actually aluminum. This is mild steel. You can see it's a little bit beefier. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make four shackle pieces two inches longer than what I already have. Uh, I wish I had some aluminum because it'd be a lot easier to work with drilling holes and stuff, but I don't. So I'm gonna measure this, cut four pieces two inches longer and start drilling some holes. All right, so here's the old shackle. Here is the new shackle, uh, aluminum, mild steel. I'm gonna use the same bolts. Uh, I'm just gonna slap some paint on these guys real quick so they don't rust. 
and then we'll put them on there and see what it looks like. Okay, so while the paint is drying on those, I have to figure out how to make shock extensions. So you can see right now the shock's not gonna reach. So what I think I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take a piece of square tube and cut it an inch and a half long, and then that's gonna set on top of where the shock used to mount. And then what I'll do is I'll drill a hole here and then on the opposite side an offset hole so that I can bolt everything together. You know, they don't carry any weight. All it does is dampen the movement of the spring. So this doesn't really have to be anything structural. So I'm gonna mark this tube real quick, cut it and drill some holes. All right, so this is going to be one of my shock extensions. So the hole in the center here is gonna be where the shock bolts because it has a bushing and offset on the other side so that I can get a bolt in to bolt it to the original bracket. So I'm gonna go put another coat of paint on the shackles and then put this thing together. All right, so we have the new shock spacers installed. Dave said I engineered them poorly. <laughs> but uh, They're gonna break at the most inopportune time. Yeah, so these don't really carry any weight. All they do is dampen the up and down movement. And we have our new shackles in here. They look really tall, but when it's on the ground, you can't really see them. So I'll let this thing on the ground and let you guys take a look at it. All right, so we are all done with the free homemade lift kit. And you can see back here, we have a lot more space between the tire and the uh, fiberglass body. So all in all, pretty simple. If you guys have any questions, be sure you put them in the comments below and don't forget to always like and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell up here. It'll give you notifications when I post a new video. And don't forget there's always merchandise in the description below. Thanks for watching.